Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to show you how to speed up Windows in less than 60 seconds. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to speed up Windows in less than 60 seconds, although explaining it and actually Showing you how it's done will take longer than 60 seconds, but realistically, once you know actually how to do it, it will take you roughly about a minute to actually perform the task, reboot your PC, and you should find that your Windows experience is actually significantly better, although your mileage may vary, as we'll discuss in the video as we go through. So first of all, let's head over to the PC and we'll show you what you need to actually do. So this is our Windows 11 desktop, and at the moment it is as it should be, and what I find is, especially in Windows 11, things like anything in the start menu, it just takes a while, so if I type in OBS, although actually it's come up pretty quickly now, typically. Uh, let's type in Paint. Yeah, that is actually coming up pretty well. So this is not a particularly good example at the moment, but quite often I click on the Start menu, type something here, and I type in like O, and then I have to wait a little while. There's like a delay or a lag, which is actually quite annoying. And also I find that Windows is using quite a lot of RAM. So if we actually do Alt, Control, Delete here, we'll do Task Manager, and we'll go into performance. We'll see how much RAM we're using. I've actually taken some screenshots of this previously, so I may actually substitute what you can see on the screen now for what I did a little bit earlier, but you'll get the general idea. So if you take a look at what is going on down here, so this is how much memory is in use, how much is compressed, how much is available, committed, cached, etc., etc. So these are the things which can potentially slow down your PC, especially if you're getting towards being at the limit of what you've got. Now, for most people, if you've got 16 gigs of RAM or more, then this shouldn't affect you too badly, although you still may find the uh, slight lag in Windows, but I'll explain more as we go on. So in order to actually make Windows a little bit faster is basically removing or disabling one of the services which Windows uses to ironically make things quicker. So we'll click on Start, and in the Start bar, we'll just type in here Services, or start typing it, it should come up, and just click on Services. And this is a list of all the services which are running in Windows, which there are actually quite a lot. So in order to find the one we want, highlight one of these here, anyone will do. Then just type in S, Y, and it'll take you towards these ones here. And we want SysMain. Now SysMain, if we double click on it, gives you an explanation of what it does. So it maintains and improves system performance over time. Essentially what it does is it caches regularly used applications and programs into RAM. So every time you start up your PC, some of the applications that you use on a regular basis will be cached into your RAM, which isn't always ideal. So what you want to do is to, first of all, stop that process. Click Stop. And it'll say that it's stopped. And once it's stopped, just go down to here where it says Startup Type and choose Disabled. Very important, click Apply, then Bottom. So now when Windows reboots, this service is disabled from starting up. So click OK close down any programs which are open and head on down and click on restart. Okay, so now Windows has rebooted, so I'm going to do Alt Control Delete once more, go into Task Manager, and then we can head over into Performance. And we should find down here in this section that things are looking a little bit more favorable. So in use, we've now got 4.2. I think it was a little bit more than that before, maybe about 4.5. I have experienced more than 4.9, etc. The available amount should be very similar. So what we'll find here is in the compressed section, there's nothing compressed. So that means that Windows hasn't compressed any other applications in the background ready to be quickly launched. So that should speed up things a little bit. Obviously your mileage will vary depending on your PC. And again, in the cache section, you should find that there's probably about anywhere between a gig and maybe slightly more less. So you've got less cached RAM being used and your paged pool and your non-paged pool should also be slightly lower. Now one of the other things of this which I have found personally is the fact that the start menu and things like search do tend to be a little bit snappier. So I can click on something in here, type in OBS and literally it's kind of instantaneous. Whereas generally if I have the sysmain active sometimes there can be a real stutter between Windows actually thinking about what it's doing. Now being that I use the start menu quite a lot as most people probably do you should find this quite beneficial. So there we go, there's a very quick and very simple way of actually tweaking your system to make it a little bit more responsive. Please do let me know in the comments section below if you've actually tried this yourself. Does it make a difference? Does it give you that tangible feeling of your system being a little bit more snappy and a little bit more responsive? 
hopefully it will do, but certainly do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. So anyway, that's going to wrap this one up. Hopefully it's been helpful. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit the subscribe button and the chime notification, and you'll be notified of daily releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.